the unstoppable message of salvation and truth from the appointed Son fuels the numerous victories and blessings happening in the Almighty Father's Kingdom nation. Wherever His sons and daughters are planted, they flourish, expand, and reap abundant harvest. Join us as we bear witness to another exciting round of Kingdom victories and updates. Despite facing spiritual challenges, sons and daughters have chosen to remain steadfast and committed, striving to be empowered and victorious in this spiritual battlefield, just like the appointed son. Meanwhile, amidst the tumult and prejudices, the KLC of Hong Kong has offered another batch of souls who have chosen the right path by knowing the truth through the teachings and preachings of the appointed son. Through their constant attendance to worship and mana classes, they were able to dig deeper and were enlightened by the substance brought about by the message of repentance. And just recently, empowered by their decision to grow more in the knowledge of the kingdom and their desire for a spiritual renaissance, these souls decided to take the first leap of faith through water baptism held at Repulse Bay, Hong Kong. Truly, the kingdom never run out of blessings, and all sons and daughters are grateful to the Father through the Son, for He has strengthened them and have become triumphant in all trials, just like the appointed Son. Recently, the Kingdom Light Congregation or KLC of Hong Kong successfully held its tribute to the King ceremony at Southorn Stadium in Wan Chai. This event was one of the most anticipated gatherings for the faithful sons and daughters of the Kingdom nation and everyone was overwhelmed with joy as the Almighty Father poured out His abundant spiritual blessings. These Kingdom leaders, transformed by the appointed son's life-changing message, are being used for the mighty works of the Almighty Father. They are committed to bringing more sons and daughters into the fold with financial blessings and talents used for the glory of the Almighty Father through the appointed Son. A place in the true New Jerusalem, a city whose streets are made of pure gold. Contrasting the approaching chilly winds of winter, a warm breeze of triumph envelopes the kingdom-like congregation of Australia. The Almighty Father has once again demonstrated His miraculous power through a cascade of blessings manifested during the first quarter of this year's mid-year baptism and three-day winter camp. Faithful souls from various states across the miles converge upon Sydney to partake in this annual celebration. The grand event started by commemorating the decisions of sincere individuals who had heard the message of the appointed son, been enlightened, and made the courageous choice to take their first step of faith through water baptism. After receiving enlightenment through the words of the appointed son, these eager souls welcomed the spirit of obedience in their hearts, declaring, not my will, but thy will be done, as they were welcomed into the Almighty Father's kingdom nation. The series of events continued through the moving up ceremony joined by the kingdom citizens as they are promoted to different stages of spiritual maturity, all striving to reach the third level of maturity, just like the appointed son. The joyous day proceeded to the next phase of festivities, marked by the opening ceremony of the highly anticipated Australia Winter Camp. The league comprises four teams, each representing one of the main states, the Yellow Tribe of Judah from New South Wales, the Purple Tribe of Benjamin from Queensland, the Green Tribe of Joseph from Western Australia, and the Red Tribe of Levites from Victoria. During the various competitions, including power dance, 
folk dance, volleyball, basketball, solo singing, and Bible games. The team strive for excellence, embodying the spirit of spiritual camaraderie that Pastor Apollo always emphasizes. The event also provided a viable opportunity for a meeting and fellowship with the Kingdom of Jesus Christ Country Coordinator for Australia. The following Sunday, all participants gathered for a special live Thanksgiving and worship presentation where they lifted their voices in gratitude and praise to the Almighty Father for His goodness and love. After a sumptuous lunch, the competitions continued showcasing the participants' adept Bible skills and proficiency in the teachings and life of the appointed son through the preaching competition, followed by the broadcasting and solo singing events. As the competitions drew to a close, the participants were overwhelmed with joy and gratitude for the success of the entire event. The awarding ceremony was both humbling and fulfilling, as everyone acknowledged that without the Almighty Father through the Son, they could accomplish nothing. Each team was recognized for their respective achievements, and all expressed their appreciation to the appointed Son for instilling the value of excellence in glorifying the Almighty Father. The event concluded with a heartfelt candle lighting ceremony, where visitors and Kingdom citizens gathered to offer themselves, symbolically representing their candles as lights in their respective areas, committed to becoming effective helping hands in the mission of the appointed Son. Pastor Apollo's unwavering leadership was the heartbeat of this event, and all participants returned to their states, caring, invaluable experiences, a profound love for the spiritual family, and a genuine commitment for the appointed Son who united them towards the Almighty Father's great spiritual cause, for which He will always prevail, as the good can never be defeated by darkness. Overflowing with joy and gratitude to the Almighty Father through His appointed Son, Pastor Apollo Siki Baloy, Kingdom citizens across Europe celebrated the inaugural Summer Camp 2024 at the KLC of Milan, Italy. Delegates from Sweden, Spain, Belgium, and Italy traveled far and wide to partake in this spiritual gathering, filled with fun, fellowship, and spiritual enlightenment. The event commenced with a meet-and-greet and orientation program, featuring victory testimonies that allowed participants to share their spiritual experiences in their respective areas of responsibility. This gathering empowered and motivated Kingdom citizens, especially the youth, to deepen their spiritual lives. On the second day, the festivities began with a vibrant parade consisting of three teams. The Yellow Team loyal, the pink team, dedicated, the green team, committed, Kingdom Youth, ESAC, adults, and full-time miracle missionaries engage in lively parlor games, dancing, and team building activities. 
creating an atmosphere filled with laughter and camaraderie. In the afternoon, participants enjoyed a tour of the beautiful city of Milan, not only admiring its grandeur, but also claiming the opportunity to reach out and enlighten more souls with the message of the appointed sun. The event culminated in an awarding ceremony where certificates were presented to all participants. This moment also included heartfelt songs of praise and worship to the Almighty Father. The gathering concluded with a candle lighting ceremony where attendees offered prayers and recommitment and rededication to the will of the Almighty Father. This powerful moment strengthened their resolve to obey His will in their lives as they prepare to return to their respective responsibilities. At the Kingdom Light Congregation of Clarksville, Tennessee, the Keepers Club International was proudly launched. The event commenced with uplifting songs of praise and worship, which filled the hearts of the young attendees with joy. Following this, a meet and greet also took place to the event that transitioned into a music workshop where the talents of the youth were channeled. This initiative aims not only to mold them into upright individuals, but also to prepare them to be instruments of the Almighty Father's glory. The appointed Son of God's message through the Keepers Club International is continually changing the lives of the youths in Brazil. Aside from its weekly music and English lessons, they also held some outdoor activities to help the young people unwind from their weekly schedule. The Keepers Club International in Minas Gerais, together with the full-time missionaries, Kingdom Miracle members, and Decided Ones, the sympathizers, and the regular visitors in the Thanksgiving and worship presentation, held a family day in one of the fazendas of Divino Minas Gerais. Everyone was filled with joy and happiness as they enjoyed the parlor games, eating Brazil's famous barbecue, churrasco, and even did a salo salo using banana leaves to make their lunch unique and momentous. Everyone is blessed as they expressed their gratitude to the appointed Son of God for the time to get together as one kingdom family. Despite the challenges, faithful sons and daughters from Visayas, particularly from the areas of Aklan, Bacolod, eastern part of Visayas, northern and southern part of Cebu, and Iloilo came together to celebrate the love of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. The Kingdom citizens revealed in the mesmerizing seascape while engaging in lively games and gatherings. Their radiant smiles reflected true happiness that transcends material possessions, a testament to the abundant life within the kingdom nation shaped by the guidance of the appointed son. The kingdom-like congregations of KLC from Butuan City, Surigao City, Bayugan City, Tandag City, and Bisling City, along with the Kingdom citizens from the provinces of Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, Dinagat Islands, and Shurgao gathered for a momentous night of worship and thanksgiving. This inspiring event took place at the KLC of Butuan City and was led by the Kingdom's Executive Minister. 
A highlight of the evening was the powerful message delivered by the appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy. His words resonated deeply with all attendees, reinforcing the spirit of unity, love, and gratitude for the Almighty Father's abundant blessings. No one can halt the mission entrusted to the appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy, despite the recent challenges faced by the Kingdom Nation. The Kingdom-like congregations of Eastern Mindanao, encompassing Butuan City, Kabadbaran City, Surigao City, Tandag City, Bayugan City, and the provinces of Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, as well as the Nagat Islands and Shergao, recently conducted a water baptism in Kabadbaran City. The newly baptized Kingdom citizens are a testament to the powerful preaching of Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy, delivered through television and social media platforms, leading lost souls to enlightenment and salvation and following the Almighty Father's will no matter what just like the appointed son. Young stewards and ambassadors of the kingdom gather for their inaugural event at the Jose Maria College Theater. Promoting unity under the theme, Stronger Together, Rising Above Challenges for Unity. The event featured inspiring testimonies showcasing the courage and commitment of these youth as they are equipped to face any challenge, as well as their faithfulness and loyalty to the Almighty Father, just like His appointed son. Forgiveness together is phases in between And I'll be with you through the night And I'll turn every wrong to right So, ibang level lang talaga, glorification era na nga Recently, leaders from the National Capital Region, or NCR, gathered for a fellowship with the C at the Cubao KLC Quezon City. Despite the challenges currently faced by the KOJC, the spirit of fellowship and the celebration of victory testimonies remain unwavering. The kingdom of the Almighty Father on earth continues to flourish and pursue its mission through the three pillars of the kingdom. Manatili tayo malakas, manatili tayo matatag, at manatili tayo sa kalooban ng ating ama sa pamamagitan ng hinirang na anak. With hundreds of leaders in attendance, the fellowship inspired everyone to strive even harder to glorify the Almighty Father and carry on the mission of the appointed Son, especially in ushering more souls in the kingdom. The message delivered reignited the passion in every kingdom leader's heart, motivating them to remain resilient and committed to the kingdom nation's cause. have just experienced the overflowing blessings that the Almighty Father has showered upon His Kingdom Nation. We invite you to join us next time for more inspiring victories, only here on Kingdom Victories and Updates. Praise the Father!